Good morning, folks. Good morning, family. It's January 16, 2020, Thursday morning, 8.55 a.m. This is Raymond X, the Prophet, and your Skywatcher forecast this morning, January 16, 2020, Thursday morning, 8.55 a.m. Sunny Hill, California, Marion County. Weather forecast for the day, 57 degrees outside. It feels like 57. No rain in the forecast. No wind. It's a calm. And over here toward the east, we have some overcast skies over toward the east, out toward the northeast and toward the north I have these strange weird cloud formations. Otherwise it's just mostly blue sky here throughout here in Sunny Hill, California, Florida, Marion County. And look toward the northwest, some more of the same weird cloud formations. I have no understanding of what I'm seeing here, but they just don't look normal at all. I'm not sure if someone flipped on the weather the machine or the maybe the weather machine stripped a few gears. So this is the sky watcher forecast for the day. And what you're seeing here is what I see out here on the skies. The camera records it a little bit differently because if I tilt the camera a certain way, you can see a lot more. It's had something to do with the lens, with the way the light is captured by the lens. So if there's not enough light, and if I don't tilt the camera a certain way, it's not going to record it properly. So I have to kind of tilt the camera a little bit forward, away from me a little bit. As you can see, it's calm out, no wind. No rain in the forecast, not until I guess at least Saturday or Sunday where you might have a chance of rain. It's 57 degrees outside at 8.56 a.m. January 16th, 2020. I want to share a short message with you if I can. Jesus is coming soon and so there's a judgment. And everybody's going to stand before two judgments, either the great white throne judgment for the non-believers or the judgment seat of Christ for the believers. And then all the books are going to be open, the book of the law, the book of life and finally everyone's individual book or file if you want to call it that everything that that one person's done all their deeds both good and bad are written in that book and those people are going to be judged out of those things which are written in the books even raven x has a book too just like you do and you're going to be called every case is going to be called by one of those two judges and the case is going to be called and you're going to stand before the man and you're going to stay in there silent as he reviews your case reviews your book and everything that's in it. And judgment's going to be swift for a lot of people. Many, many people are going to be saved and many, many people are going to be lost. It hurts even the Father to even lose one, one soul. You would rather have them come to all of repentance than lose one person to the lake of fire. So keep that in mind as you listen to these words. These are not my words. These words came from God. My job is to go out here and preach the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to all and certainly who want to receive it. If they choose not to receive his words, they won't receive my words, then they're lost. There is no Satan's side. There's no such thing. Either you're saved or you're eternally and hopefully lost forever. And I don't want that and God doesn't want that either. God called me a long time ago to be a prophet to show you guys what a prophet does and this is what he does his job's not easy he has to rise up early and make many many sacrifices for the people he loves and cares about even his own family it's pretty bad that jesus was rejected by his own his own family and me i was rejected by my own family my own kind even even my own peers have nothing to do with me even the people in this town it's like i'm invisible it's like i'm not even here well, I'm pretty sure I could probably walk around this apartment complex naked as a jaybird and nobody would even care. Or even walk around wearing a pair of sneakers and a pair of underwear and nobody would care. That's just how bad it is, guys. It's not about Asperger's or anything else. It's just the Holy Spirit conviction. I come upon these people and they just sit there until either I disappear or they, they, they disappear. And they're being convicted by the Holy Spirit. I don't even have to even say one word to them. And they know that God's laying right on their heart everything that they tried to do and doing. And he knows about the sins that they committed and they refused to repent. And I'm standing there just sitting there looking at them. Eye to eye, nose to nose, face to face. And the Holy Spirit conviction lands on them. And they can't deal with it. They can't deal with the conviction. I don't have to even say a thing. All I do is just my very presence itself is enough to get them agitated. And sometimes they just deal with it, and sometimes they just get up and walk away. Or they avoid me at all costs. Anyway, folks, I just wanted to reveal something like that to you. So this is it. This is the Skywatcher forecast. Everyone take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there.
I love you all. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. There's a judgment coming. Judgment is coming very soon, and he's going to render judgment to all. And Jesus is going to come in one of these clouds, not these clouds, but a cloud. You're going to see him in the sky. Every eye is going to see him. Every knee is going to bow, and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that's just the way it is, folks. So get ready for his return. I love you all very much. And so does God. This is why God sent me out here to do the job that he sent me to do. So that somebody out there who watches these videos might turn away from their sins and turn to him. And hear that he would heal them of whatever afflictions they have. Okay, folks, take care of yourselves. I love you very much. And I'll see you next video upload, Lord willing. Bye-bye for now. Take care.